Ting. All right, up next on our show, we have postwrestling.com's Mr. Wei Ting. He has a uh, weekly shows on uh, on audio and video, and you can join his Patreon um, for what, six bucks, no, five bucks a month, or is it minimum? Six. Six, six bucks a month. We're, 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 we're a high class. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's go to uh, postwrestling.com slash Patreon and join. It's, uh, it's really good content. So, Wei, thanks for coming on again. We really appreciate it. And uh, how yeah, have things uh, been, man, since uh, all the madness of COVID? Yeah, I mean, well, first, it's nice to talk to you guys. I mean, I've, uh, I feel like it's been like quite a while since uh, yeah. I got to see you. You both yeah. last time, I believe it was actually in LA. Was yeah, it? it was. Yeah, Long last Beach. time we spoke. Yeah, yeah, last time we spoke. So, uh, so it's nice to catch up with you guys. Yeah. Uh, how we've been, I've been dealing with it over here in Toronto. I mean, uh, I'm sure it's you know similar to many parts of the world, but I feel like we've been pretty much like shut down for like seven weeks uh and i've really just kind of kept to myself for quite a while um doing my regular routine of keeping for some reason like i would say most of my daily routine is is somewhat uninterrupted because wrestling has still been going on yeah like consistently throughout so i still do my shows with john um in fact like in some ways we're busier than before yeah because the news certainly hasn't slowed down um and i'm also like uh driving my fiance to and from work she works in healthcare as well uh just like you james and so you know every morning i you know just to kind of schedule fit her routine with my own and and as you know i'm very much like a night owl it's and she's very much like an uh an eight to four type of person so it's it's been it's made things actually a bit busier for me yeah wow and you were mentioning that you haven't seen uh, you haven't seen actually face to face john in like five weeks at least yeah, or however yeah. long since, you know, this whole thing's, Seven like, weeks, occurred. Yeah. I mean, since I would say, like, for the better part of, what, since, like, March 10th? March. Yeah. Hey, my birthday. It, it, something like that. <laughs> well, yeah. me, you, and yeah. John, it's your birthday's very really close to each other. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you know, like, you know, like, it was probably the better part of, like, seven weeks now yeah. that I haven't, John, John and I haven't really done a show, like, in person together, so. But Skype's, like, worked out. In fact, like it's it's been a great excuse to try to figure out more video stuff yeah you know seriously and how how is it like over there in terms of the lockdown are you guys is it kind of like us where it's like restaurants or only takeout uh, banks yep. and hospitals are basically the only other thing grocery stores and that's about it is that's kind of how it is yeah pretty much i would say all the restaurants are are well most of them if they choose to still allow takeout um there's certainly a list of essential services and it's actually quite a pretty long list so okay um but like you know most actual stores are closed outside of grocery stores Mm -hmm. um um i'm trying to think you know um certain services like you know you can't get a haircut yeah um you know, even you can't even go to the dentist unless it's a, it's an emergency, I believe. Yeah. So I would say it's very probably quite similar to what you guys have. Yeah. And has it been like um, difficult to adjust to all this, or we are um, like a homebody? I'm like I'm I'm actually I'm actually like quite amazed at how well I've adjusted. To yeah. be honest with you, yeah. like it's I I really feel like my I'm somebody who like naturally likes to stay at home anyway. Yeah. And like, I kind of have to make an effort to go and like be social. So this is just kind of like, <laughs> it's made me, it's made life easier. Yeah. Actually, in some yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I've actually kind of like, in, it, it's hard to, for me to say like, I've enjoyed any part of this because there are people out there that are going through yeah. the worst, like yeah. everything, you know, right. financially uh, in terms of health, so I, I don't really want to be insensitive to those people, right? Uh, but as far as my but my day to day for my adjusting, it's 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 actually been totally fine. Okay, and uh, you know, besides work, like what other things have you been doing to keep yourself sane? Like, are you watching shows? Are you like playing Exercise, music? Or are you? Yeah, trying to do a bit of everything. You know, yeah. uh, like the 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 schedule keeps me kind of busy. But like I I was really lucky in that uh, when I moved into this place. Um, one of my first things I wanted to do was just to build a home gym. And so like I got so lucky that I would say perhaps like two, three weeks before this whole thing shut down, like I managed managed to buy a squat rack and a bunch of weights and a barbell. So I've just been like, you know, really like, like do learning a lot about like, you know, lifting technique and just like devoting myself to that. Damn. Um, That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's been fun. 
like, yeah. and, and, and again, it's have like, you been improving? Or like, you're have you been uh like putting on more yeah. weight and exactly, yeah, buffer? yeah, yeah, it, yeah. You just add on a bit more weight every t- single time, yeah. Um, and you know, it's it's nothing I to brag about yet. I'm still, you know, it's still, I'm still very much a novice, but it's like I'm so lucky that I got all yeah. that stuff in my basement before because the moment all this stuff happened and the gym shut down, yeah. like everything's been sold out. And yeah. so I follow this Reddit about like home gyms yeah. and I'm seeing all these people like build their, their own squat racks out of like two by fours and mm. cement. And I'm like, shit, I, that's I'm so crazy. Glad I yeah. You don't have to do that. that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, do you see any physical, physical improvements like in your body or does your, your, your fiance? Are you going to rip? Um, certainly not ripped at all uh, i mean i think i have to eat a whole lot you know really to, yeah, yeah. to get ripped and that's something that i have to focus on a, a little bit later but like yeah i'm certainly seeing like some improvement you know they, awesome. they call them newbie gains right yeah. so um but um for me I, it's not even about like getting bigger i just want to like i just want to stay active i want to stay healthy yeah yeah that's yeah, cool man because yeah. um like i don't want to like um put a like spot on me but like i've lost like 22 pounds man yeah in the past good, man. six yeah. weeks he's been he, yeah he lost yeah, yeah 22 pounds 20, six tw- weeks yeah, been watching shit. his diet yeah yeah so, I, I, so, just eating because he'll just eat sugar and, and eat carbs shit. and cut all that out yeah like i went from like 185 to like i'm like at 160 right now that's yeah. amazing dude and yeah. you just did that mainly from diet yeah just from dieting yeah like, i yeah. i bought a food scale i'm like like weigh my food out and i'm like watching when i'm I'm logging in my my calorie count i'm doing all, all that stuff yeah i completely took sugar out of my system my, my diet um so so carbs. the sugar was coming from you like eating out like what what exactly has uh, the change breads uh donuts you know just stupid stupid crap that i don't need yeah. and my a1c you, level was kind of high do you see him that like his, his gut's almost gone like it's just like he's yeah, that's crazy yeah he's slimmed down a lot so yeah it's no that's different. amazing yeah yeah how about you josh uh, I probably lost like eight pounds, but I've been lifting a lot too. So my, I, I was kind of made for the like this quarantine thing because I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad I have my my son because it, it's, it makes it entertaining. It's like being home on a regular day. So I have that. See, I've won- I wondered about like about that. You know, is it yeah. does it drive you crazier being nah. kind of attached to the family? Because I've heard like from you know a friend of mine actually, um, Marcus Marcus Vandenberg, who lives actually in L.A. He's got a newborn as well, and he says like. You know, like when the, when the baby's that young, you pretty much have to like be at home anyway. So, yeah. so and, it's like, and it's other like people day, have said that it, yeah, it's like a regular day off. It's like it's like yeah. eh, I'm just like it's yeah. So it's not bad. It's like it's entertaining. We go outside to play. He can walk around now, and he's like just like watching movies. So it's like a regular day. And then uh, as far as a home gym, I had a home gym already. I have like yeah. a couple of cardio machines. I had weights and all that. So I was already doing this whole quarantine stuff already. And now with the sun, I don't really go out that much anyway. So yeah. it's like I was, it's like a normal thing for me. So it's fine. So you could do a whole a whole another year. I could do a whole another year. I don't mind. No, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's yeah. to the point where he doesn't want to like go back to work. He yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm good, man. Get, collecting yeah. the unemployment, and I'm like, you know, doing <laughs> doing podcasts on the regular and working out routine. I have a workout routine now that like I can stick to. So it's all good. Now, wait, I have a, I have a question. Not all you. good. I don't want to be insensitive. To you. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're um, making the best out of a bad yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. Yeah. Um, I had a, a, a bit of a personal question, but like you don't have to. If you don't feel comfortable at, like answering it, don't, don't please don't. But um, like you mentioned, a uh, fiance. I was, I, was gonna, I, I was gonna ask that too. Yeah, I the last time I talked to you, <laughs> she was your girlfriend. So if you don't mind yeah. sharing, update, how that come, update us. Soon. Yeah, update how that come to fruition? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we've been dating for like five, like five years. Yeah, actually, and um, this was we just come back from our trip to Japan because she came with me. Uh, when I was there for Wrestle Kingdom, she joined me pretty much like a few days after, and yeah. we like had a great trip to Japan. And even by that point, like I had already gotten the ring, but like you know, you get to the point where, man, I'm not I'm not sure if I should bring this ring with me all the way to like Japan, you know, to propose. Like yeah. so much could have gone gone wrong. I could have lost yeah. the thing. Could they could have like checked it at the at the yeah. security thing and like you know what? Yeah. Like so, I, ultimately, I decided to like wait until we got here. Um, she and I had actually just bought a house, so wow, okay. congrats! Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, thank you. So yeah, a number of like significant, like twenty twenty is like crazy Changes, year yeah. already thus far, but um, so yeah, like before we had moved in, um, I guess I just decided to do it a few days before her birthday and uh, surprised her at home. 
before we had actually moved in but like you know i like did the whole pedals and like you know fake candles and things like that and ah, just, look at you, it up and just kind of surprised her she wasn't expecting it at all and it, it, it turned out great was it just you and her when you proposed, or what, did you have her family yeah. there, or was it like... No, no, it's just us. It's yeah. just you guys? Okay, that's cool. That's wow. like, damn, you went all out. That's a, yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. yeah, it's a, hopefully, it's a one-time thing. Yeah, that's hope. Yeah. So, and then you moved into your house already? How do you, how do you like it? Yeah. Is it like, did you, did you, get, did you buy a fixer upper? Did you go like a turnkey type of thing? You guys are ready to go yeah i mean it, it, the place is pretty modest you know um but like like the market in toronto is already crazy so it's yeah. like it's it's definitely like the biggest i would say responsibility that, that either of us has t been taken on yeah. and um it but thus far it, we're, we're extremely happy yeah like yeah. We're, we're both people that like we don't spend that much anyway i would say we're, we're pretty frugal so everything's pretty much going to a mortgage at yeah. this point so yeah, we're we're pretty happy. Nice, congrats. And, and are you guys, gonna, yeah, uh, are, are you guys planning to get married this year or next or? Uh, it was initially going to be next summer, so not twenty twenty, but like twenty twenty one. Okay, summer. hopefully things by then. That's, that's probably it's probably for the best anyway. Right now, it would have been very difficult to pull it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't really know any of this stuff about like how long it takes to like you know put one of these things together. Um, but apparently, it's like venues you need to book at least like a year out. Yeah, anyway. I, I got I got married last fall. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a. Uh, Did it take that long? It it took a majority of the year. I would say from like early mid spring to we got married in October, October fourth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it it you're planning all the way up until like the week of because you gotta like they they you won't have your guest list solidified and all the details mm -hmm. until like the week of. So yeah, we got pretty lucky in that sense too, like because we we had finalized our date yeah. again before all of this stuff went down. And then, like, as you would expect, there have been a number of cancellations around this time for this year, right? Yeah. So right. everybody's trying to get dates for next year. Yeah. And, like, next year's going to be, like, crazy, uh, you know, if, if everything tries to get back to normal. Yeah. We yeah. we did a – we I, I proposed to her, like, on her birthday. And then we got married, like, almost two years later. Two yeah, years later. My, my, son, my son came in, like, the, the, the year that we were planning to do it. So we pushed mm -hmm. that back. And mm. then we, yeah, so. Yeah, well, gotcha. the night he proposed, I was, I was freaking out more than he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then. How did you do it? Uh, it? It was like, she was opening her gifts, and we had everybody there. It was, I did it at a restaurant, like one of our, like a, a favorite restaurant of ours, at a table. Yeah. Like, there was like 15 people there for just us, and then on top of the other people that were there. Um, I waited till the end, uh, and I told her she had one more gift to open, and then that was it, yeah. Amazing. nerve wracking. Then that's when all the nerves come in is when you i'm sure yeah, the feeling is like when uh when you finally do it it's like when you finally totally. ask it's just like dude you get like this wave of emotion it's crazy and you were you uh, uh james you're really nervous for him why why were you nervous for me uh, i don't know i just thought <laughs> yeah i don't know i i thought of the possibility of her saying no nothing not that not, not you that. would yeah but just that possibility but yeah. in his wedding i was like crying like a baby man i was his best man i was just yeah, crying the whole time yeah like a baby Aww. Like That's I didn't even make it through my speech. I was, I think most of my speech was me crying. That's awesome. It's it kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's a big, big, a lot of changes for you this year, man. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, yeah. That's that's awesome. That's really cool. You know, speaking mm -hmm. of of Japan, um, uh, Josh, myself, and you, like, like we all share a common show that we like, which is Terrace House. Yeah, and of I think, course. I think, and I think Terrace House got canceled, right, because of the. COVID of the of the uh, pandemic yeah. suspended yeah yeah suspended. suspended yeah yeah so uh i believe they're like uh, i don't know how, how how much you guys have caught up with the current season but like the the North, North, so the north american season is like delayed from the japan release right yeah, yeah. and i believe that the japan release is probably i believe they ended somewhere at like end of january so I'm sure they filmed a whole lot more, but they just haven't either edited it or they haven't filmed the segments with the panel, basically yeah. reacting to the shows. Um, so we don't really get to see the moment where they're even told, hey, the season's being suspended. Um, I'm sure they have all that footage. I guess we just don't know, you know, when we might pick back up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Could be the fall. Yeah. I could see them putting it out in the fall, maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Wait, no. You've caught up on, you guys have caught up. I haven't caught up on this new season yet. I'm like, on yeah. its entirety, but... Uh, what do you what do you make of it? What do you think of it? Have, have you enjoyed it as much as the other seasons? Um, 
it's been like I would say the season of people that you po- could possibly hate the most. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's always entertaining because it's Terrace House. Yeah. But this season has like so many, or at least like towards the end, they've got so many unlikable people. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much you have you seen all the Japanese ones, James? I have well, not. I think I've seen most of them though. Okay, you know this guy Nino? Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, I fucking yeah, hate me this too. guy. He's yeah. terrible. Yeah. yeah, he's he's one of yeah. I, I completely agree with you. He's just a guy who, like, you know, like, I mean, this show is very much a dating show. And so you see this dude out on dates, and he's just, like, incredibly manipulative and incredibly pushy. And you just, you're just, like, yelling through the screen for, like, the girl that he's trying to, like, yeah. you know, make out with to just, like, push him away and call the yeah. cops or something. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's that type of thing. Yeah. You know, a great show to watch I've been watching is, uh, is Vanderpump Rules, man. What is it called? Uh, Vanderpump Rules. It's on, it's oh, Vanderpump Bravo. Rules. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys big reality shows show fans? Uh, I I pick and choose mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I pick and choose. I'm not much of like like the popular mainstream ones. No, I, no. I think Terrace House. Uh, I got into Formula One racing over the over this whole quarantine thing. You did. Yeah. Are they, they still going on? No, they well they suspended this season. I think they're pushing it back to like the summer. But um, they have a really good uh um, like Netflix documentary series on 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 it right now. So it's pretty cool. Oh, Tiger King is a great one too. Yeah, Tiger King. Yes. Tiger King. Yes. yes. Uh, the Last Dance is phenomenal. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty much on. Like, I'm waiting for the final two to drop. Yeah. Honestly, that that Kobe one is tough, especially here in LA, because yeah. we live in LA where Kobe. You know, I mean, I mean, this is the house that Kobe built with Staples Center. So, mm-hmm. so watching those episodes were kind of tough on me. It was, it was. It was hard to watch. Yeah, of course. I mean, everything's still like so fresh. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of crazy. Now, uh, yeah. now speaking of the, of the whole pandemic and and pro wrestling, because you know they're going hand in hand. Yeah. Like, what are your thoughts on on the WWE and and them? You know, still going with you know, still put on shows, still put on live events. Uh, do you agree with that with them and and what they're doing? Or are you basically don't care about what they're doing? Um. No, I certainly care. Yeah. Uh. And I ultimately I I don't agree with yeah. the shows continuing. Um. Especially several weeks ago when I think the concerns were even that much greater than they are now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's so, it's really strange. Cause like my, my feelings are constantly changing about it where, um, ultimately I, I am against the things happening. Um, but the, as the weeks progress, I, I, I feel a bit more assured in some ways about maybe the precautions and the statistics, I suppose. I mean, yeah. the fact is that, like they've done shows for this long, they had one positive case, and yeah. that was somebody that they claim was uh, only caught it outside of their system. Um, in some ways, it is assuring. At the same time, I just know like it, it really should might just be a matter of time. You know, yeah. the more you tempt fate. Yeah. Um, so ultimately, um, I'm against it. Yeah. At the same time, like I, I'm, I'm kind of strange in that I'm able to like separate you know, perhaps everything that's been going on with, like, just the performances themselves. Yeah. Like, anytime we have to go back and rewatch, you know, like, old wrestling matches with, like, a Chris Benoit or something, I... For the first few, it was definitely weird, like, of, of John and I doing older reviews, but then, yeah. like, I kind of, at some point, I've gotten to the point where I, I'm able, and this might make me very different from most, where I can kind of separate the performances from kind of the politics that are going on, mm-hmm. I'm and I... I kind of find myself, you know, feeling like that with a lot of the shows right now where we can review them and I can objectively describe, you know, was this a good show? Was this a bad show? Was this a good match? Was this a bad yeah. match? Where Was this a good performance or was this not? But ultimately, um, you know, if you're asking me whether or not I think these shows should be going on, whether or not this risk should be taken, especially for a company that's, you know, going to be generating record profits, I would say no. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I'm, and I'm with you, uh, Way, uh, especially with Benoit. You know, like his his we, work. We, we reviewed uh, Benoit's uh, documentary on yeah, Vice, the, the dark whole side, Vice doc, mm-hmm. the dark dark side of the ring, or whatever. Yeah, and um, I mean, I have no problem with, like watching the Benoit match just because like he was such a great worker. I know like the way things ended was disturbing in a lot of ways, but I, I mean, I can appreciate his work and 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 what he mm-hmm. did in the ring. And kind of like ignore it for yeah. however long the match is, and kind of separate. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a lot of people out there can't do that, but I mean, I'm, I, mean, I can do it. Yeah, I think I think um, 
Yeah, Benoit was a, a, a favorite of mine for I think the latter part of the, like the the WWE, my WWE watching. Um, but the I, like I look at other sports, NFL, basketball, and they they are able to put away put aside some of the antics of some of their athletes and let them play, and nobody really bets an eye. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, I know Benoit is a special case where he, you know, he did the things that he did, but I can, I too can separate uh, my my feelings towards it, uh, towards him as a person and what he did and him as a performer and my love for him as a performer. I don't know. And, and yeah, for the WWE too, like I, I don't agree with them necessarily forcing the issue of putting on events. But, you know, it is, uh, I can put my feelings aside too and just watch. It's rare for me to like, you know, like desire to, let's say I want to go like pop, pop in a Benoit DVD or like, you know, willingly want to do it if I wasn't yeah. going to do it, do it for a podcast. And I, I wonder if the, I would feel the same, honestly, with these WWE shows. I don't know if I would be willing to just, you know, on Monday night, hey, let's check out Raw and let's stick with it for three hours. I don't think I would have been doing that anyway, unless yeah. I was doing this podcast. Right. Um, but, you know, um, as to when I do kind of like, you know, sit down and actually like focus on what's going on. And it, I always find it to be an interesting exercise to try to like, you know, think about my thoughts about what I'm watching when I'm watching professional wrestling. Yeah. And I think um, when it when it comes to sports like like or like WWE and the UFC, and it's not surprising that Vince McMahon and Dana White are the two guys out there right now that are leaders of organizations that are pushing the issue and like kind of like it, it's it's in their nature, it's in the, their sports individual sports nature to push the issue all the time. So it's just it's mm -hmm. just we know that them to be this way. Um, and it's not, I guess it's, on that side, it's not surprising to see them that they're they're the ones out there, kind of pushing to open things back up or at least keep things somewhat normal. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah. know, I think they're both personalities that, in many ways, are very similar, and they they are personalities that don't feel like they can be pushed around and be told what to do. Yeah. And you know, you can argue that that's part of the reason for their success. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, this is a situation where. I really do get concerned that people's safety is going to be put in danger uh, for that stubbornness. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of performers who are grateful to be, you know, performing right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. What did you think of their, uh, the, obviously, I think the WB kind of learned from their first initial, uh, like, performance or, like, put a show uh, and how mm -hmm. they kept the lights on, how they kept the, the yeah. seats in the arena. Like, I it's kind of common sense to turn the lights off and to take the seats out. Like, I don't know what, what, what would you make of your first uh, viewing of their first event? And since it's, it almost felt like those initial shows, they were trying to emphasize the emptiness yeah. and almost using, you know, the empty vibe as sort of a feature, like lighting everything the same way as it typically would have been for a, uh, you know, full, full audience uh, mm. performance. You had triple H, you know, doing the introduction in a wide shot, yeah. uh, telling us this is going to be a special show with an empty room. They're drawing a lot more attention to it, I right. think, in the hopes of, uh, you know, presenting it less so as a weakness and something as a feature. And there might have been a novelty to those first couple episodes, but, I mean, obviously that quickly wore, wore down quick. And um, I think AEW, when they started to do their show, pointing their camera at the stage rather than the audience, it it was immediately noticeable how much better that yeah. experience was yeah. and that it was a way better experience when we can forget about the emptiness of the place and mm -hmm. instead, you know, be directed with directing, be able to direct our t attention just to the, the product in the ring. Um, and to, to mimic, I guess, some semblance of like, you know, there being some sort of atmosphere. Mm. So, um, yeah, and that's when they made the changes of not, you know, WWE themselves by pointing the camera to the set, uh, not lighting the the empty seats. I don't even know if there are seats anymore. Yeah, I think yeah, they took them out. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah, and you know, another um, another positive thing that the WWE has done is they it really kind of forced them to be more creative, like in the the WrestleMania matches with the with Taker and AJ Styles, but, I mean, I enjoyed the, the Bray Wyatt, John Cena one more, but, yeah, I mean, both those matches, I mean, we, they, yeah. I mean, were great. They're really entertaining. 
Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's kind of been, like, one of the things I've... Much like how I would say, like, you know, the two of you have managed to, like, take a negative and turn it into a positive yeah, in, yeah. in your own personal lives. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's a lot of room to, to be able to, to grow creatively in, for professional wrestling or for anything using right. this particular opportunity. One of those ways is seeing these, you know, cinematic matches. And some of them have worked. Some of them have not worked. Yeah, uh, yeah. Absolutely. But I love the fact that they're at least taking the risk. Because I think one one thing that you know I can criticize about this company is that sometimes it, they stick to the format a little too right. much, especially when it, when it comes to production. Right. Everything is like you know backstage interview with Charlie Caruso or like Renee or whoever with like a perfectly lit background, and it's like uh, scripted lines here and there. There's still a whole lot of that, but yeah. now is the perfect time when you know you are missing so many tools anyway to like rethink rethink everything from the beginning and to see what might work and what might not so this this thing coming up on sunday with this uh, money in the bank i i'm actually quite intrigued to see how it plays out yeah it'll be interesting to see and you know what? and i've been recently um doing a timeline from like i think 97 and right now i'm on 2001 but watching watching owens matches man it makes me kind of wish that he gets in that hall of fame already but I know there's the issues with 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 Martha, his widow, you know, wanting him mm-hmm. to be there. Like, do you see any kind of compromise with Martha and maybe him finally being in the Hall of Fame? Because I think that you know, without the WWE Network, I think people would forget how great Owen you know was, and it's kind of sad to see him forgotten in that way because of Martha. Perhaps. I mean, you know, at the same time, the man hasn't really been mentioned in WWE TV, like, for yeah. all these years, and yeah. yet we still talk about him, you know, plenty. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like even if he... Like, honestly, this is a completely personal issue for uh, Martha Hart and her her family. Like, yeah. they, they have gone through a level of pain that I, none of us will understand. Right, yeah. So, so to, like... It's it's a really difficult decision um, for for her, um, right. and I would say I'm sure there there's plenty of public demand. I mean, like Bret Hart himself, you know, really has said the same thing. He doesn't want his brother's legacy to be forgotten about. I contend that it'll stay alive either way, but um, you know, with enough fan support, I could see her maybe entertaining the idea. But ultimately, it really does come down to to her decision. Mm-hmm. And what, yeah. uh, switching over to MMA real quick, are are you gonna catch the fights this weekend? Are you still keeping up with MMA that much? Honestly, no, not no. at all. Like my interest ever since I I left the fight arc has been pretty minimal, to be yeah. quite honest with you. And especially with all this stuff going on, I get I keep updated with you know what John tells me. Honestly, yeah. with the news that I follow, that that he he reports and the shows that uh, he and Phil Cher talk to on our sites. Um, but beyond that, like I honestly don't have that much interest especially yeah. like this is a case where i feel like my personal feelings on whether or not these shows should occur i i'm i'm fine to to boycott because yeah. i don't really care either yeah. way right right what do you think about fight island and them going through with that uh, when you uh, being on the outside not so much follow, following the sport that much anymore but you're hearing that they're pushing you know dana white coming out pushing the issue of putting on events now in florida which florida opened up and then Fight Island, which he says is going to happen. Or, or I think it's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. it's it's like super villain shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, no, it's, it's wildly it's, entertaining it's, just to hear about. Like, the news updates are so unbelievable that they're just fun. But it's like, it's such a shit show. Um, I guess in some ways, like, I just, I want to see them kind of pull it off just to see, like, just to be able to, to say, like, this exists. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of super villains in yeah. uh, sports today. <laughs> I, saw, I saw an article where, uh, I think it was MMA Fighting, where they were talking about um, that the the fighters missed their opportunity to really push the issue of representation in this whole, like, pandemic, like, shutdown, like, mm. and that they didn't unite during this time to, like, no, we're not going to fight because you, you could get sick or, you know. I don't know. What do you, you think they might have missed a, an opportunity there? Because they're, they're under a different set of roles in like WWE. Well, uh, who, let me ask you: Who would need to lead that chart? Which which athletes or which characters within 
the community the would big, have to big, be the, the first big, to step the big up. Names, yeah, the big names: Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson, Justin Gaethje, Khabib. Yeah, yeah those Khabib, guys. You know. And what incentive do you feel like those guys might have? Uh, they're paid. They're, well, they're getting paid. Yeah, yeah, they're getting paid. They are getting paid. They are getting paid. They're but I mean, like, what, what incentive money. would they have to to, to, to help up? other people? No, not much. Yeah. No, no, they, would have, they would have really have to just put themselves aside and yeah. you know to get ask them all to do that. No, I'm sure it's in their. It's heads. a system. I mean, it's much like pro wrestling, where like as an individual, essentially, yeah. like we're talking an individual sport in many ways. Yeah. Like even in pro pro wrestling, it's it's a system that's just not built for something like that to occur. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much um, independent contractors. Is what they are, mm-hmm. and, and they're competing with everybody. Yeah, they're competing with each other. So I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Like the topic of unions has actually come up a lot, like yeah. during this period, and I really don't get the sense that we're inching any closer to it being a reality. There's going to be a lot of talk, but unless like the people at the top you know, are so um, universally selfless or like they, or they have like a united motivation to, you know, for their own needs to band together, to speak up against the people that they're, you know, um, that are uh, uh, against their employers. Uh, It's hard for me to see anything occur. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's really tough. What do do you guys have going on uh, coming up uh, for the, for, you know, post wrestling, any, any new things that you're working on during this time? Um, what's 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 new what's we, what's changed in the 2020 for you guys man we've just got a lot of shows and i would say like our our schedule on our lineup says just uh continues to grow with like any new idea that we possibly have so uh those that are you know really bored right now certainly have no shortage of things to listen to if you go yeah. to postdressing.com right now we have i would say three active podcasts that are going on and that'll be us post wrestling which is primarily the 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 itunes feed that john and i run uh and that you can get our raw review you can get our aew dynamite review as well as our cafe hangout as well as a number of mma reviews that john pollock and phil chair talk to they're doing a ufc 249 preview this week as well as a ufc 249 post show later on this uh saturday sunday night uh, we also have a number of shows from WH Park covering Japanese professional wrestling there. Our friend Nate Milton does a Rocky Maya via picture show, which is a, 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 a career Hollywood film retrospective on the career of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So you can find all that at Post Wrestling. But we've also got Up Next, which is our friends Braden and Davey. Those they host, guys. they are amazing. They host a weekly nxt review show but they're really a lot more than that um they also do a lot of star wars reviews this week they got a lost review that's going on they've recently started a patreon that i would say they really put more effort into perhaps than like their actual feed themselves like they they pretty much like i feel like they might they may do as many shows as as us now and a lot of people might not even be aware of it but like on their feed they've got like uh, dynamite reviews they've got um uh, you know, like retrospective reviews, both for an NXT and also this thing called Best Match Ever. Th- those guys have been doing such a great job, so I wanted to shut those guys out. And we've also got the British Wrestling Experience, which is a bi-weekly show about Brit- British wrestling, mm-hmm. uh, hosted by our friends uh, Ben O. Martin and Jamesy. And those guys have just been doing tremendous, tremendous work over the past, you know, like several years that they've been doing shows. So that's for uh, awesome. just wanted to shut everybody out. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. Uh, uh, one last thing before uh, we get going, but um. Is there any plans of making like uh, any pandemic merchandise for your post wrestling store? Pandemic merchandise? What do you mean, like, any, face, like, 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 face, like mask face mask or, or anything related it's to, so, the, to the pandemic? It's so funny because like I, 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 with all our merch, I actually like um, make them through this online portal that yeah. like designs or like they they supply the raw material, then I can actually do all the designs online myself. And one of the new items that they just have have had in stock was face masks. Like it's 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 like they're selling face masks and they're also selling like scarves. Um, it's a little much for me. Like <laughs> I I feel number yeah. one I don't want to take responsibility for yeah. people's health yeah. with a yeah. with an item of merchandise that I I wear. And secondly, it's just I, it's not really within our style. Like we kind of do our t-shirts and yeah. we'll do our hats and and that that is kind of like all we're really interested in at the moment. But uh, yeah, know, maybe seems- it's maybe it'll be a Patreon perk. For instance. Yeah, dude, I would love to wear a. Uh, Post wrestling face, I mean face mask or anything of post wrestling. Could you guys give a have some really cool merchandise, man? So props to you and John for Thank that. You. And I know if you, if you if you join your Patreon, you can um, it automatically gives you a, a chance to win some merch, right? 
Yes, that's right. Actually, this is uh, the, 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 the draws have been something that I've, I've kind of like withhold for a little bit just because uh, we haven't really been sending as much physical merchandise with everything that's been going yeah. on. But it's something I want to pick back up, certainly. And so, um, yeah, if you join the Patreon, there are a number of tiers. Some of them contain physical mail. At the moment, we're not doing as much physical mail because we're just not sending physical mail as yeah. much. But we are sending digital greetings to a lot of people, and we're trying to keep that a surprise. So um, it's you, you kind of have to think of like different ideas, you know, with right. everything. That's really awesome. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Wayne, it's like really late over there in Toronto, so we're going to let you go. But um, I don't know, like, it's been really cool not only to, to call your friend, but for you to, you know, to come on the show yeah. and um, to... You know, good, good, to see you again. good to talk yeah, to you again. You're like, you're Likewise. Like, yeah, the last time I saw you guys like was before we even started the new site. It was like yeah. that was yeah. a period right before I, 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 I was like during the last period I, I was at the Fight Network. So everything's yeah. kind of changed for 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 me at least professionally yeah, since a, then. A lot of, and a for lot you of personally, Josh. Yeah, yeah. A lot has changed. Yeah. Uh, but all for the better. So yeah, man. but so yeah, yeah. so best of luck with, with getting married and uh, best of luck with you Thank and John you. and post wrestling, I'm mean, like you guys are killing it as always. Yeah. And uh, you and John are, are you know like role models from Josh and I to kind of like maybe uh, catch up to you guys one day. But it's it'll be a while before we get to that <laughs> point. But we appreciate yeah. everything you do for us, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, you guys have been grinding for like a long, long time, and um, just that consistency is incredibly respectable. So, well, thank um, you. Right, yeah, man. All right, All right, well, take, you care. take care. Much love stay, and respect, stay, man. Stay safe, and we'll hopefully thank you guys we'll, so we'll, much. Eh? We'll hang out uh, soon. You know, got to go to Roscoe's. Next year. If we yeah, we got to go back to yeah, Roscoe's. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, we man. appreciate it, brother. All right, stay safe. All right, I you too, man. All, All the best. Well. All, All the best. See you guys. Bye.